Hello everyone. In this session, we will be introducing you to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux Upgrade Helper Lab app. This application assists you to upgrade your Red Hat Enterprise Linux with multiple upgrade paths and architectures. This lab app shows you the basic steps to upgrade Red Hat Enterprise Linux, extra steps that prevent known issues specific to your upgrade scenario. The supported minor release number for the upgrade is different upon the system architecture as shown on your screen. The next few steps will explain the process of accessing this lab app and enable you to get the understanding of how it works. In order to access this lab app, please visit the URL as shown on the screen. On the lab app page, please search for Red Hat Enterprise Linux Upgrade Helper. This will take you to the lab app page where you will see three options starting from rel 7 to rel 9 and you can follow it as per your need. This lab app has three sections as shown on the screen. We will explore each section shortly. To begin with, let's explore rel 8 option which will explain us on how to upgrade rel 7 to rel 8. Before we explore this, please take a note of the reference section which has all the relevant resources related to the rel 7 to rel 8 upgrade process. Now, as explained earlier, this lab app has three sections as shown on the screen. The first section is upgrade options. Here, you just need to select the architecture and repository type. Architecture has three options in the dropdown as shown here. Select the appropriate one out of three. For example, I am selecting 64-bit Intel. We have got five options in the rel repository type as shown here. Select the appropriate one out of five. For example, I am selecting the first option as Red Hat Content Delivery Network with Red Hat Subscription Manager. Now click on the next button. Now we are in the pre-requirement check section. Here you will need to answer some of the basic but important questions. Let's see them one by one. Is your operating system Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.9? As you know, in order to do an in-place upgrade from RHEL 7 to RHEL 8, you must be on the latest minor version and hence your source system should be RHEL 7.9. If you select yes, it will allow you to move forward. Otherwise, it will give you a warning with description as there is a constraint with respect to the supported upgrade paths. In this case, you must bring your system to 7.9 first and then move forward. Have you reviewed the in-place upgrade support policy? This policy describes how Red Hat provides support for the in-place upgrade process, which allows Red Hat Enterprise Linux systems to be upgraded to the next major version. If you select yes, it will allow you to move forward. Otherwise, it will give you warning to go through the support policy. Have you made a backup of your current system? You must have a backup of your current system before you perform the upgrade operation. This is clearly stated in the in-place upgrade support policy as we have seen in the previous question. If you select yes, it will allow you to move forward. Otherwise, it will give you warning to backup the current system to avoid the potential data loss. Does your system meet the minimum hardware requirement for rel There are well-defined and documented hardware requirements for your system to be on rel and you can refer the same on the highlighted URL here. If you select yes, it will allow you to move forward. Otherwise, it will give you warning that this procedure will not work without meeting the minimum hardware requirements for rel -Aid. Are the whole disk a partition or file system encrypted? Encryption of the whole disk or partition or the file system encryption currently cannot be used on a system targeted for in-place upgrade. If you select yes, it will give you warning. Otherwise, it will allow you to move forward. Is your system on the server variant? Only the server variant is supported. Workstation, client desktop and other variants are not. If you are not sure whether your system is supported, Run this command as shown to check your system's variant. If you select yes, it will allow you to move forward. Otherwise, it will give you a warning that upgrading with the leap utility on other variants like workstation or client desktops are not supported. Is high availability add-on used? Upgrades of the systems using the high availability add-on are unsupported. If you select yes, it will give you a warning as shown. Refer to the highlighted article for details. Otherwise, it will allow you to move forward. Is network-based multipath and any kind of network storage mount, for example, ISCSI or NFS, used for system partition? No network-based multipath and no kind of network storage mount can be used as a system partition, for example, ISCSI or NFS. If you select yes, it will give you warning as shown. 
otherwise it will allow you to move forward where the following security aspects evaluated for your system please carefully review the security aspects shown here if you select yes it will allow you to move forward otherwise it will give you a warning that you should evaluate these aspects before the upgrade did you review known issues red hat product documentation has a separate chapter on the troubleshooting part and you must go through it before you begin with the operation if you select yes it will allow you to move forward otherwise it will give you a warning to go through the same as there are some cases that in plus upgrade doesn't work with a known issue or some workarounds may be available is sap hana used on the system there are some special requirements for the in plus upgrade on relate with sap hana and the supported upgrade path is not the same and hence you must go through the highlighted document if you select yes it will give you a warning as shown otherwise it will allow you to move forward is ansible product installed on the system the in place upgrade is not supported for the systems with any ansible products including ansible tower installed if you select yes it will give you a warning else it will allow you to move forward great now that we have answered all the questions in the pre requirement check section click on the next button there you go as we can see on the screen we have got a complete list of steps we need to follow to upgrade the system to relate hope this information is helpful please do see our other videos which explains the uses process for other customer lab applications like yum configuration helper convert to rel ssh vulnerabilities helper etc